What's up everybody? Welcome to St. Louis Bouldering. I've uh, recently decided that I'm going to build my garage out into a climbing training area. Um, which I'm really freaking excited for, to be quite honest with you. I've had this garage in my house that I haven't used other than for, you know, it's one of those places that uh, when I don't want to see something anymore, I put it into the garage. So it's not a huge garage, it's a one car garage, but I think it'll be more than enough to at least get started, um, put up some good stuff in here. I'm also gonna to try to do my living room and I have a Four Seasons room as well. So the first step in all this was to uh, do a lot of research into uh, different uh, shapes and sizes and holds and and uh, T-nuts and all that good stuff. So um, I did a bunch of research, did a lot of reading, and essentially what I came to the conclusion of is you, you just kind of do it and uh, it was really dependent on kind of what you want and how your space is sort of set up. So I'm pretty lucky my garage is completely unfinished so the beams are exposed. So our um, build out is going to be a lot easier than is if there was like drywall on the walls and you got to find the uh, find the studs and then put up beams around it so you can attach your frames to the beams first. Two walls are beamed and then one wall is drywall, but I'm just going to make that as kind of like a slab area anyway. This, the first step I took was cleaning out the garage, which is an absolute ridiculous mess. <laughs> Uh, seven years of, of nonsense out here, so that took uh, that took quite a bit of work. Um, the next step following getting my garage cleaned out was ordering wood and uh, all the materials that I needed to actually do the build out. Um, I have a hole in my wall right now. My dog's peeking through. I don't know if you can see her. Hi, Zoe. What you doing, baby girl? What you doing? You're so sweet. <laughs> anyway. So uh, after cleaning out my garage, I ordered a bunch of stuff. Uh, I got three quarter inch plywood, um, four by eight feet sections. I got a bunch of two by sixes, and then Mike and Ellie came over the other day, and we were gonna start building out the frame. But I don't know if you can see, we got one board up before my drill bits completely. Uh, what's the word I'm looking for? What's the word? They. Uh, Anyway, the metal parts of the drill bits, they're the, the six star, the six sided star shaped drill bits. They completely, oh, they stripped. That's the word I'm looking for. Stripped out. So we got kind of stopped. But today, Mike is coming back over. Um, we're going to be drilling holes in all the plywood sheets for the main wall to install the T nuts. And we're going to get the frame up and probably put some feet on the kicker I put, uh, the, the one foot kicker. It's just one foot, 12 inches of, of, for the feet. We're just going to put a bunch of screw-ons down there for feet. Um, and then this wall is going to wind up being 45 degrees. So anyway, super duper stoked. Can't wait to get into this. Um, enjoy some time lapses. Let me keep you entertained. The stories are... All right, so I got three boards stacked up on top of each other. I'm just going to mark lines on the top one and drill through three boards at once just to save time because I think, I think there's going to be like 100, 100 holes per board or so, 8 times 16. What is that? 128 holes per board. Um, so I could do those one at a time, but uh, definitely don't want to do that. So I'm just going to do three boards at once because these are all going to be the same size. I'm going to have three more boards that are only five foot. These are eight foot uh, that I'm going to have to cut three feet off. So they're going to be four by five. Um, and they're pretty heavy, just to, if, you, if you've never worked with them before, but they are pretty heavy. So I'm going to uh, get these lines marked up and uh, get to drilling. Also, if you've never used one of these before, it's a uh, chalk liner. Essentially, it's a string that's got chalk on it. And you put it across the board, and you pull the string up and let it snap onto the board, and it creates a uh, fairly straight line to work with. Makes things pretty easy. I exaggerate that you know I'm true. And as you said, we keep you entertained. The stories I exaggerate that you know. And as you said, we keep you entertained. The stories I exaggerate that you know are true. And as you said, we keep you entertained. The stories Last one for this set. And as you said, they're making days of chains. And I'll throw in a hand grenade and tell you how it is. I'm in a few points. I'm sending you. 
Hi, Mike will be here shortly, so I'm gonna start putting this frame up. We've got eight main pieces. Already got one of them up from before my last drill bit stripped. Got seven more to do real quick. Let's get those knocked out. We've got the frame up. Uh, we're gonna be doing T-nuts today. T-nuts so far have been the worst process. Uh, when I was doing research online on kind of how to do this kind of stuff, because I don't really do this kind of stuff, but uh, anyway, I was reading a bunch of stuff online and found that the majority of people just hammer the T-nuts in. They put the T-nuts in the, in the hole that you drill, put a little glue in there and hammer away. And then I found this other website that essentially said that that was the wrong way to do it that you should screw them in manually, but my God, that is a tedious process. So I'm just gonna be hammering them in today. Um, I've done a few already, and I think that the hammering method is just fine. So we're gonna go with that. Uh, Mike will be here eventually to uh, help in the T-nut installation. Once we get the T-nuts all in, we're gonna throw some panels on this back vertical wall, 45 degrees. I'm gonna need uh, three four by eight panels and three four by five foot panels to fill it all up. So let's get to it. got a uh, climbing wall. Look at that, we got one piece left. Let's get this thing up. So building your own climbing wall is neither cheap nor easy. You should probably uh, really consider, re reconsider doing it if you're, if you're wanting to do this because it's hard. So we are dead. My back hurts, my knee hurts, and Mike's got an injured knee. So his knee probably really hurts. But uh, we've got the wall up. Now we're gonna throw some holds on it. It's pretty late, we've been working for like nine hours now or something. What time is it? You got here like 10, right? Anyway, we've been working for a long time. So we're gonna screw some feet in, throw some holds up. See what happens. Alright, so the first problem on the wall is going to be designed by Mike, and I'm putting the first hole onto it. And I'm super excited. And he wants me to put it somewhere in this area, and we're gonna hand crank it on here, you know, just for to make it to make it real. It's a long bolt. Thank you. <laughs> I think you did it on purpose. Oh no! <laughs> well, this is nice. <laughs> And my back is killing me, so it's like, God damn it. Alright, so I'm gonna get it, I guess, all the way, like, fairly tight. And then position it. What kind of position? Just straight? Like, sideways? More. Yeah. Oh my god. <laughs> it says it's gonna be V3. <laughs> Alright. It feels pretty tight to me. Holy shit. That's, that's not. It's not very deep <laughs> at all. 
Oh, uh-huh.